This is a controller for a two-speed fan motor. Feeding into the controller is 120 volts AC. Black is the hot wire and white is the neutral wire. The neutral wire goes to terminal B on the coil of the 120 volt relay. It also connects to one leg of the two-speed fan motor. The black wire feeds into the controller and terminates on one side of the high temperature switch. It also terminates on the common contact of the relay, pin 7. When the relay isn't energized, pin 7 and pin 2, those are the contacts, are closed. The hot wire continues to one side of the low temperature switch. Check behind the cover of whatever you're working on and it's likely you'll find a wiring diagram. A lot of relays will have the pinouts for the coil and the contacts printed on them. This one doesn't. Printed on the bottom of the relay, often you'll find the pin numbers for the contacts and an A and B. The A and B will represent the coil connections. I use the model number on the relay to find the manufacturer's data sheet. When the attic temperature reaches the recommended low temperature setting of 90 to 100 degrees, the low temperature switch closes. And if you remember, the hot was sitting on one side of the low temperature switch when this 120 volt relay was not energized. The hot passes through the switch and onto the low speed winding of the two speed fan motor. Here's what it looks like on the controller. The pin 2 comes out to one side of the low temperature switch. When it closes, it connects to the low speed windings of the fan. I now have the controller energized. I have a multimeter set up to read AC volts. I'm clipped onto the neutral wire and I'm clipped on to the output of the low temperature switch that connects to our low speed fan connection. And I'm going to turn the temperature down to simulate a 90 degree temperature. If you watch the multimeter, once it hits the desired temperature, we now have 120 volts out to the fan. Let's say that the fan is running on low speed because the attic temperature is between 90 and 100 degrees. And then the temperature increases to over 100 degrees. The high temperature switch closes and the hot is now present at terminal A on the coil of the relay. This energizes the relay and causes the contacts to change state. Now terminals 7 and 5 are closed and 7 and 2 are open. Power is removed from the windings for low speed on the fan. It's now switched to the high speed windings and the fan runs at high speed. I've switched my meter lead to the high-speed fan winding. I'll simulate the attic temperature rising above 100 degrees. And you could hear the relay click. The coils have energized. And we now have 120 volts on the high-speed fan leg. There's an example of how a relay can be used in a circuit. I hope you found this video helpful. A thumbs up is always appreciated. Click on the channel name, Know How Now, to find other videos. And thanks for watching.